Welcome to another episode of This Week with David Rovix, making popular education popular again. In the fall of last year, scores of people had just been massacred from the 31st floor of a hotel room in Las Vegas, with hundreds injured in the carnage. At the same moment, much of the U.S. was still on fire after a devastating summer of burning towns and cities. To the east, much of the state of Texas and the neo-colony of Puerto Rico lay flooded and in ruins. Now, in the autumn of 2018, we have just experienced another series of sensational massacres throughout the country, the deadliest fires in California history, and much of the East Coast once again smells like mildew, having only recently seen the latest devastating floodwaters recede. Along with these man-made disasters is the latest electoral disaster, where once again the party of capitalism and imperialism has the majority in both houses of Congress. Any of these developments could have been the sorts of things that would cause major changes to happen in a responsibly run country. There might be big new federal initiatives to address the causes of these calamities, passing and enforcing gun control laws, ending the use of fossil fuels, depaving the floodplains. But in the U.S., with our supposed representatives in government overwhelmingly of the bought-and-sold variety, these earth-shattering developments are not only not addressed by those with the power to do so, but there is a clear bipartisan effort to actually make conditions worse in preparation for the next time. And next time always comes. The U.S. is, by definition, a failed state. A state facing the kinds of calamities that will inexorably lead to the total breakdown of any semblance of social or political order, and yet it is institutionally incapable of mounting any kind of defense of its own society, its own constituents, its own air, land, and water. The cost of housing is so high in so many places that millions of people are homeless, and four in ten people in the U.S. are essentially one or two paychecks away from homelessness. Our solution to poverty is mass incarceration, solitary confinement, and riot police. We have completely drained and poisoned the world's biggest aquifer. In the summers, we now have the world's most toxic air. We're burning and drowning at the same time. Until further notice, my new name for the country in which I was born and raised is the Failed States of America. jobs and living in a tent when a house costs a million bucks and you can't pay the rent when politicians say they'll help but it keeps getting worse each time the landlord lobby pulls the strings of the purse when the human right to housing isn't even part of the debate you know you're living in a failed state of citizens are spending half their lives locked up in a prison for trying to survive when laws must be broken just to have a place to stay when the prisons pay the senators to look the other way if you have to be a criminal to put food upon your plate you know you're living in a failed state Facing climate breakdown when the trees are all on fire When half the country's underwater when a climate change denier Runs the nation and the opposition party votes for oil rigs and pipelines This is not so much a country as it is a corporation Buckling under its weight you know you're living in a failed state is an empire facing daily blowback and the only thing your leaders can think to do is attack bipartisan consensus that we need to spend 700 billion before the years end on a military budget to make america great you know you're living in a failed Every day, some psycho with a gun has to open fire on a crowd before it's done. When 
when a music festival becomes a free fire zone And all they can say is it's okay now he was acting alone Buy some armor, pray to God, and hide behind a gate You know you're living in a failed state You know you're living in a failed state You know you're living in a failed state This version of the song, Failed State, appears on my upcoming vinyl album, Historic Times. The entire album is currently available as a free download to anyone who gets on my email list at davidrovix.com. This has been episode 16 of This Week with David Rovix, available wherever you get your podcasts. Please let me know what you think of it. If you like it, sharing it and reviewing it on whatever platform you use would be most appreciated. Hope to see you here in cyberspace next week.